It's Roy Rogers on Ken's Country. It's a Carolina morning. Hello, I'm Ken Mann. During the 1990s, I hosted the Carolina Morning Radio Show, broadcasting to the Outer Banks in northeastern North Carolina. We played only the very best country music. And every year, we take the journey from Nags Head to Nashville for CMA Week. There, the stars that gave us this decade of great music would tell us all about their songs, all about their lives, and living the country music dream. When I was a boy growing up on the Outer Banks of North Carolina, there was no cable TV, much less satellite or internet streaming. We had an old antenna strapped on the chimney up on top of the roof. We could get about, oh, three to four TV stations out of Norfolk, Virginia, and that was on a good day. I liked to watch the westerns, Hopalong Cassidy, The Lone Ranger, and my favorite was Roy Rogers with his golden palomina, Dale Evans, the Queen of the West, Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. I never imagined in my wildest dreams that one day, I would get the chance to talk to the king of cowboys himself, Roy Rogers. Roy and Dale Evans appeared in many, many radio broadcasts of the Roy Rogers show for over nine years, and then on television for six years. Also, they appeared in over 200 films. Often, he would sing on the shows. You see, Roy was a singer before he became an actor. Roy was one of the founding members of the Sons of the Pioneers back in the 1930s. The popularity and fame of the group quickly spread across the U.S. because of radio. The Sons of the Pioneers signed a recording contract with the newly founded Decca record label. One of the first songs they recorded for Decca was Tumbling Tumbleweeds. By 1936, way back there now, the Sons of the Pioneers had recorded 32 songs for Decca, including the classic Cool Water. Here's an interesting side story. Later, Ken Curtis, who starred as Festus on Gunsmoke, joined up with the Sons of the Pioneers, and he sang with them as well. Rogers and Evans' famous theme song, Happy Trails, was written by Dale. They sang it as a duet to sign off their television show. He's going to sing it for us a little later today on the podcast. Two times, Roy was elected to the Country Music Hall of Fame, first as a member of the Sons of the Pioneers in 1980, and then again as a soloist in 1988. As far as I know, he was the only person elected to the Country Music Hall of Fame twice. He and Dale sang often on the Billy Graham Crusades. Roy, in his humble way, told us about teaming up with a young country star named Clint Black to record Hold On Partner that was released in 1991, the year we interviewed him. You can only imagine how I felt the day the door to the studio opened and the secretary stepped in and said, Ken, Roy Rogers is on the phone. And he wants to talk to you. Hello, Roy Rogers. This is Ken Mann. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing fine, Ken. I just uh, uh, come over here, play old Roy Rogers in the morning, and fiddle around and sign checks or whatever needs to be done, and uh, go back home and do something there, and then, you know, just kind of goof off for the rest of the day. Well, listen, I, I want you to know that I am really excited to have this opportunity to talk with you on the radio today. It means an awful lot to me. Well, that's great. You know, I've, I've been all down through your Carolinas there the years ago, played a lot of uh, North and South Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, Georgia, Alabama, Louisiana, Mississippi, about a three-month tour one time, playing the little theaters. I wish I had had the opportunity to see you. Unfortunately, I only got to watch you on television, and back then I didn't have a horse, but I rode many miles <laughs> with you on a 50-gallon oil drum. Oh, you didn't have a broomstick, huh? <laughs> Not back then. We've got a horse now, but... Uh, what's, what, what's the name of your town there, Ken? We're in Nags Head, North Carolina, which is right near Kitty Hawk, where the Wright brothers flew in Cape uh, Hatteras. Uh-huh. Listen, um, how's Dale doing? She's fine. She, uh, we, we got a, a sick great-great-great-granddaughter. Uh, Our oldest great-granddaughter's sick, so she's kind of worried about her, but she's fine. She uh, does her Christian work, and she does... Uh, she was down in Mobile, Alabama uh, last week, and about two weeks before she was down in Birmingham. <laughs> so she goes quite a bit. Well, we're sorry to hear about your granddaughter. We'll keep her in our prayers. Listen, uh, another couple of questions for you. We were at the uh, Country Music Awards, 
uh-huh. and and saw you and Clint Black singing "Hold On, Partner," and that was really yeah. fantastic. Oh, Clint's a real nice kid. I enjoyed being, working with him. Is that a song off of your new album? Oh yeah, it's on the new album. Uh, Clint and I did it together, and it's on the album. And they picked that one to put for us to sing together for the TV show. Well, y'all did a fantastic job. I understand there's a number of other new country artists on the album with you. Who are some of the folks that you teamed up with, yeah, Roy? We have K.T. Oslin and uh, Willie Nelson and um, Randy Travis, uh, Emmy Lou Harris, and oh golly, there's, there's about ten of them. They were they were real nice. I, uh, they were. We, we invited them when it was done their recording deal, come down to sing Happy Trails with me on the album. Mm-hmm. We invited uh, a bunch of them to come down to our uh, to record Sing Happy Trails with us. Mm-hmm. And we had 38 there. Everybody was down there. Well, how do you feel about some of the new country talent? Well, I, they're, they're getting closer to rock and roll, more of them, but I think it, each individual person has his own... Uh, or her own personality and the way they sing a song, and they have their own style, you know what I mean? Sure, I and understand. It depends on what people like, but they got a variety of them, you know. Some of them uh, sing like Randy Travis, he has his own style, so does Willie Nelson, but they're not anything alike, you know what I mean? They still like Roy Rogers because we've been playing a hold-on partner, and we get a lot of phone calls for it. Oh, did you? Well, I've grown up with a lot of people. I made uh, over 200 pictures down through the years, and I uh, met a lot of people and grew up with a lot of people. There's a little song on that. Did you play the song that I wrote about? I feel like I've grown up with everybody that's live and kicking today. We're going to play it today for them. Oh, are you? We're going to give it a spin. Uh, A lot of people come in the museum and they ask questions, you know, so I put a lot of these questions together and put the answers on the song. It's a great song. And my son Dusty does a, a real nice thing. It's a it's playing a tribute to to me actually, called uh, King of the Cowboys. Right. So it's a, it does a real nice job on it. Will you be uh, touring or anything to help promote the new album, Roy? Uh, no, I'm not going. to. I told him that before I made it. I said I can. You know, I I have I've been trying to retire for 15 years. Nobody will let me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a, that's an honor and a tribute in its own right. Well, it really is an honor, and, and that's. Uh, uh, one of the reasons I did it, it's, it's very flattering, but I, I was kind of worried to pray that I couldn't hold a note, but I had, I, uh, it turned out real good, and I was uh, really surprised at it. Well, you did a great job on the album. Listen, I was wondering, before we go, I know you're busy, any chance that you might sing just a, a little bit of Happy Trails for us before we hang up? Well, first of all, I want to thank you for making this possible and say hello to all your folks down there in the Carolinas and that area, and, uh, until we meet again, goodbye, good luck, and may the good Lord take a like it to you. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. Who cares about the clouds if we're together? Just sing a song and bring the sunny weather. Happy trails to you till we meet again. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, okay, Ken. Thank you very much, Roy, and God bless you. God bless you. Thanks a whole lot. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Roy Rogers died when he was 86 years old on July 6, 1998. His wife, Dale Evans, passed away three years later in 2001. Roy Rogers, the king of cowboys on Ken's Country. Find out more about the Ken's Country podcast at kenscountry.com. Please invite your family and friends to join us. Thank you for listening, and may God bless you richly.